Hi everyone, welcome back to Nuskrit. And in this video, we'll extend our discussion on streams in Java, right? So in the last video, we focused on like how filters can work, what is filter chaining and all, right? But in this video, we will see like how we can basically map the things, right? So let's, let's try to discuss, okay? So what we discussed in the last video? So what we were doing is we had some list and that list was maybe of integer, okay? Or this list could be of a string, okay? or this list could be of some custom class also. And we were doing basically filtering. We were doing only filtering, right? So when we talk about this filtering, so what this filtering does is it actually filters some of the options. And when I say filters, suppose in the original list, if you had, let's say 100 records, right? So it is 100% sure that after applying the filter function, the records, the number of records, the number of records will always be lesser than or equal to 100 only. So if, if, if let's say some condition matches, your number of records will be reduced, right? That, that was we were basically doing in the last video, right? But let's say if I really don't want to reduce any number of records, right? But what I want to do is I want to change the data which is present in these list, right? Say for example, let's say for example, if I have a list of, uh, let's say numbers only, maybe like 8, 10, 20, 15, 16, right? So let's say if I want to find out the even or odd numbers, then definitely I need to apply the filter function because I am filtering this particular list on the basis of some conditions, right? But now let's say the, the, the condition over here is that, that you need to perform some operation on these numbers. And the operation that needs to be performed is that multiply every number by two, right? So that means I really, I'm really not filtering any numbers out of this list rather than what I'm doing is I am basically making changes in every object. So when we actually make changes in every object in the list, right? So we can basically apply, apply map function. So this map function, what this map function will do is, so we will basically first of all convert this list into a stream and then on that stream we will apply the map function and this map will basically take some logic and what this logic will do is, so we will do the same thing. Let's say for example, if I'm talking about num, so I will take num and I will say that num divide, num multiplied by two, like this. That's it, that's it what we have to do. So map and filter, these are the two, two things and filter basically filter some of the options wherein map basically applies some logic or apply some, you know, changes on every object present in our list. And maybe like after that, maybe you can apply the filter function also. So first of all, you can map the things and then you can apply the filter function on that. So that's, that's not really not a problem, right? So let's try to go and try, try out some, you know, coding snips. So, okay. So now what I'll do is I will basically, let's, let's take a simple scenario. Let's say I have a list of strings once again, and I want to convert each of these string into some uppercase letters, right? So let's quickly create a list. So I've created a simple names list. Let's try to add some of the names into this list. Let's say I'm trying to add five names. So these are the, let's say five names that I'm adding, right? That I have added. And what I want to do is I want to basically convert them into all caps, right? So right now what I do, if I simply names.stream, okay? And uh, I simply basically ask my, you know, uh, logic to uh, iterate on each of the name. And I am saying that just print them. So I'm saying that just, you know, uh, S out and print this name. So if I simply run this particular line, so definitely you guess, you can guess the output that it will print all the names, right? So all the names will be printed. But now if I want to say like this, so first of all, like you can maybe have this logic over here also, like when you are actually printing. So while printing also, you can convert the names, but there is a problem like while printing, if you are converting them, so you don't have the stream with you, right? You are only simply performing that step while printing. So you actually don't have all caps numbers, but let's say if I want to store these all caps into some stream, right? Then, then in that case, I have to map these values. So what I'll do is I'll basically after converting this names, this, this list of names into some stream, I am saying that first convert them into map, right? So what I'm saying is that convert, first of all, map these values. Let me just remove from here. First of all, map these values and how will I map them? So I'm saying that for each name, which is present in this stream, let's say I want to convert the name into uppercase. So let's say two uppercase, okay, two uppercase. This is the function that I have used. And after that, uh, now I will apply the for each logic. 
and after converting that this like uh, when you had the, the list of strings you first are mapping and when you are mapping actually so you are saying that for each name you just convert this name into the uppercase so now this will give you a new stream this will give you some new stream right and on that stream basically you are applying this for each loop right and then you are printing so now if i print this so you will see that you will get the capital letters so maybe we can do that also like here i can first of all receive it into stream of string because i know that is the stream of string so now basically you are receive you have received it now after receiving it you can maybe apply this function on this particular stream so stream dot for each let's put semicolon over here then maybe you can do like this that is stream dot for each and you will get the same output so that's what i was saying that if you will apply this to upper case while printing only so this will not let you save this uh, updated stream right right so now what we have done is we have on the original on the original list of names we first converted into upper case stream then on that upper case stream we are simply applying the for each loop and maybe like instead of doing like this you could have maybe done this also system dot out colon colon print ln i i do not uh, taught you this in the last video it will still give you the same output right so this is the map function now let's say uh, let's say what if i want to map uh, let's say the length what i want to do is i want to calculate the length of each of the name right so again there is no problem so you are simply trying to uh, you know uh, fetch out some of the details from this list of names you are not filtering out you are not really filtering anything but rather than what you are doing is you are simply taking all the list of names and you want to basically calculate the length again this map function can work for me so what i want to do is i will basically take this name and for each of the name i want to first of all calculate the length so instead of two upper case i can simply print this length value but now you can uh, see over here that this is giving the problem this is giving me the problem because why the why it is giving the me the problem it is giving me the problem because you are creating a stream of integers now ideally you are using string only but you are not actually creating a, a stream of string now you are basically creating a stream of integers now so now what you will do is you will take this string and you are basically converting into integer because right now you are forming some stream of integers but uh, this stream you are receiving it in stream of string right so that means either you change this string to integer then you can get the correct answer and now if i run this it will print the length you can see here or there is one more option there is one more option like you don't write this stream of integer instead of stream of integer you can maybe use int stream but again this is giving me the problem right but we have some other function map to int so if you want to receive if you know if you are clear that your stream is going to have integers only so it is always preferred to use map to int function because map to int function is already designed for this particular use case only so it doesn't matter what your list of a string is there or list of some object is there whatever it really doesn't matter whatever you have whatever list of object you have if your output is actually the integer so you always use map to int and receive it in int stream right receive it into int stream and after running this you will still get the same output let's try to run this i think i have already run this but yes so you will get the same output so this is one thing similarly map to int function is there map to long function is there map to double function is there and similarly int stream long stream and double stream you have right so you can check out them on your own right so this is map to int function okay and maybe you can you can basically perform any operation that really doesn't matter you can maybe multiply it by 2 also right if you multiply it by 2 you will get the output multiplied right multiplied output so you can do anything fine and like let's say for example uh, because this is a stream now on this map you can perform some filter operation also let's say i want to say let me remove this semicolon and now let's say i want to say that on this stream on this stream that you have figured out i want to basically filter out only those streams which has let's say length uh, the original length was i think 6 7 i think 6 7 right so i am saying that the i want to filter out only those names which have length uh, greater than 5 so what i'll do is i'll apply the filter function i will apply the filter function i will say that because you are storing the length now because this stream is now having length i am saying that for each length which is present in this stream just filter out all those length which is having less greater than 5 length that's it now if i run this so you will only get only three three inputs three outputs only 6 7 7 because 
this uh, Rohan and Harsh length are actually removed. So you are only getting 6, 6 or then maybe 7, si sorry 6, 7 and 7, right. So you can do like that. I hope this part is clear, right. And uh, now let's move further and uh, try to discuss more things. Now let's say if I want to have, so right now what you have done is, so you have converted only list of something, list of string, list of string, list of simple object. But now what I want to convert list of collections only, the collection of collection, right. Right now it's a collection of some primitive data type, collection of a string, collection of integer, collection of uh, objects, right. But now I want to convert, I want to play with the stream of collections of collection only, collection of collection, right. I want to, because right now you are converting a stream of a string, a stream of integer, a stream of some object, a stream of a student, a stream of person. Now I want to play with a stream of list of a string, a stream of list of integers, a stream of list of, let's say student. I want to play with that. So for that, we have one more function, uh, which is a flat map, right? So right now you are using a simple map value, map. Now, but now we will be using flat map. So let's say, for example, let me first of all, create a list of list quickly, right? So let's say now I have created a collection of collection, right? List of list of a string. So basically I have added names. Uh, it's a basically list, right? If I want to print it names, so you will see that names dot two string. Let me do two string. So you will see that uh, it is like this, like, right? So it, we have a now list of list. Now what if we want to convert this in a string? Let's try to do that. What we were doing, we were simply saying that first of all, take this names, and convert it into a stream and now apply some filter option, right? Now, how we'll apply the filter option? So maybe we can say that, okay, take every name, every name and then apply some like names dot equals something, right? Equals, let's say Ram. So you can't really apply that, right? See, it is giving me error. First of all, let's take this Ram. You can't do that. Why we can't do that? Because in this names list, which is a 2D list, this name is not actually name this name will be represented as a list. So you are basically, you are basically applying this filter option. You are basically applying this filter option on this list, right? So what if, if I want to basically once again go into this particular list, so that will really be, that will be kind of challenging to me, right? So let's try to first of all run this. Okay. And maybe like we will get some string, a stream, uh, a stream of let's say string. Let's say what it will give me, whether it will give me some error or not. My expectation is there and definitely it's giving me some error. It is saying that uh, a stream of a string, like the filter option that you are applying right now, it will actually return you the list of a stream of list of a string, not a stream of a string, right? So you need to receive this in such a way. But if we receive in such a way, and now if I want to print, if I want to print this stream, what will be the output? Let's try to understand. Okay, maybe like we can write like note like this, but we can have for each loop, for each loop. And I'm saying that for every S which is present in this stream, print that, print that. If I simply run this, so it will not give me anything because the filter option that you are passing, this is not a, this is a list, you, you hover on that. It's a list of a string and you are basically comparing list of a string with some string. So you can't really do that, right? You can't really do that. On this name, it's a list of a string and on this list of a string, you are basically applying some equal function. So it like this is like this will create a problem, right? Uh, so here in this case, we have a flat map. So let's see what flat, flat map does is. So let's, let's say for example, if you have a stream of list of a string, right? Because earlier we were talking about a stream of a string, but now you have a stream of list of a string. If you apply flat map on this particular list of like a stream of list of a string, then this flat map will convert this particular stream into a stream of a string, right? That's how this flat map will be doing the job. Okay. So let's try to understand what it will do and how it will do, right? So what we'll do is first of all, let's remove this entire part. Okay. Names dot stream. If I apply simple names dot stream function, this will give me a stream of list of a string, list of a string, right? I hope this makes sense because in this names list, I already told you that we have one list, we have another list, we have third list, we then have fourth list, right? So if I apply this names.stream function, it will give you a stream, which is a stream of list of strings, right? 
and I already told you that it will be difficult to apply filter function on this particular stream. So what you can do is now you will apply flat map function on this stream. So let's try to do that. So stream dot. So you have this flat map function, right? Flat map. And this flat map function, what it will do is I will pass this as a stream because tree, see, try to understand earlier in the map function, in the map function, what you were having, you were having the objects, right? Say for example, when I was applying a map function, when I was applying a map function, so you were calling it as name because in the list of a string, you were having name, right? But now in this particular question, in this particular case, in the flat map, you really don't have name, single name rather than you have list, right? So what we will do is we will say that take a flat map, take the list, take this list, the smaller list, take this smaller list and convert this list into a stream, right? Convert this list to a stream and this will give you the this will give you a some stream, some stream of a stream, only stream, right? And let's call it as let's say, let's say stream two, or you can say like name stream, name stream like this. So now you have got from this stream, which was a list of a string, which was a stream of list of a string. Now you have converted this list into list of a stream because it's a list and you are converting into streams. Hence, it will give you a stream of a string. Now you have got the name string, name stream. And now from name string, basically, you can basically apply the filter function, you can apply map function, whatever you want to do, right. So maybe let's try to simply print that. So name stream dot, let's say for each, and I'm saying that for each name, you just print it as out, you know, just print it, print this name. That's it. And now try to run, run this. So it will give me all the names. Rohan, Ram, Ravi, Akash, Avi, Avinash, whatever, right? It will give you the all the names. Maybe you can now play with this, like you, whatever you want to do, what if you want to apply map function, if you want to apply, you know, flat, uh, sorry, filter function, if you want to apply a filter chaining over here, you can do whatever you want with this. So what, what steps we have performed? First, we converted this name dot stream into a list of a string stream. And then because it's a stream of list, it's a stream of list of a string. We are converting this stream into a flat map and flat map function takes the collection flat map function takes the collection and this collection you can convert this collection to stream function again uh, reducing that collection into the primitive data types like a string or integer or whatever and then finally it will come into its uh, the normal form and then you can play with that right so that's what we have uh, looked into this particular video, right? You can similarly have flat map to int, flat map to double, flat map to long also, right? And then you can play with that, right? So that's it for this video. So in this video, basically we saw like how we can actually, you know, uh, play with map. We can play with map to int. Similarly, then we can play with how we can play with collections of collections, right? A stream of collections. So that's it for this video. So in the next video, we will basically talk about method references and we'll continue with that. So that's it. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.